Is that the railgun? Oh my god, do I get a railgun? Oh, please. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, smile for me, big boy! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to my playthrough of Resident Evil 3 Remake Part 3. Picking right back up where we left off last time. Back in the hospital save room with Jill. Fully rested up and ready to go out and conquer all. So, without further ado, let's dive straight back into the action and see what happens. Let's go. Right, Jill. Uh, let's take a quick inventory. Have we got everything? Ooh! A gun? Is there a new gun? Um, yeah. I'm okay with that. Is there any massive distinction? Can we break that down? Oh, hang on. It'd be brilliant if you could take the... Oh, can you take the, the dot site off? No. Can I hilariously combine? Of course not. Um, I mean, okay, maybe they're too different. Alright, I'm okay with it. We got everything in here now? We do. Time to mosey on out. Let's go. Oh. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. Hmm. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. You crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Hey, so is she. Hell yeah. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility. You ain't. Beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlo. So expect trouble. Trouble's my middle name. Actually, no, it's Steven, but never mind. Ooh, to the head. And again. I like the way you die. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, nice. Uh, padlock door. That we can pick lock. Should we just have a quick nosy around the hospital? Because I'm pretty sure there was some stuff that we could get. Maybe. All right, let's have a look. Oh, I don't want the creepy things to be running around, though. That I could absolutely do without. All right. I say we gear up, because we don't know what kind of fight we're in for. We've got mag ammo. Yeah, I still don't have this magnum. Like, have I missed it? Genuine concern that I've missed this mag ammo. Well, no, I've not missed the mag ammo. I've got the ammo, but I've genuinely missed this magnum. And every time I say it, it does make me think of the ice cream. Um. Oh, with the noises. Explosive. Oh. Combine flame rounds. Could really do with another hit pouch. This looks like Nikolai's work. Yeah. You said it. Um. Uh, okay, we're going to come across a problem in a minute. Because I am running low on inventory spaces. Unless we come across a hip pouch, which would be mighty useful. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, sh shit. Oh, 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 that was so useful. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I couldn't do that again, even if I tried. Oh. It's like it's Christmas. Alright, I'll have that. 
And let's open up this. Ooh. Oh. You know what? Everybody, avert your eyes. You didn't see anything. Um, operating room. Okay. This looks pleasant. Oh, come on. I don't want to get rid of my knife. Shit. Oh, this sucks. Uh, lost items. To all employees, we've been in it inundated with reports of lost items if you find something and it's unclear who it belongs to do not take it home please deposit in the nurse's station safe safe combination is nine clockwise three counterclockwise thanks for your cooperation maybe there's a hit pouch up there um so we'll go upstairs and was it nine Clockwise. But then isn't there a third number or can you just do two? Maybe you just do two. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Um, right, nurses stations that way. I'm gonna equip that. For the sheer factor, I don't trust that we're not gonna be attacked by the hunters. Or, as I like to call them, the lizard people! How? I mean, that's taking the piss a little bit. Well, we're running low on ammo already. This was definitely part of the plan. Okay, right. Hang on. Someone else already been up here? Oh. They said nurse's room, didn't they? Simple lock. Simple lock. Okay. Okay, keep going, Jill. Keep going. Come on, hip pouch. Papa needs a new pair of everything. Mm, I'll take the mag ammo, even though I don't have a bloody mag. I'm going to be really annoyed if I've actually missed a weapon. That could have been incredibly useful. Um, What's missing in this room, then? Like, it says there's something I can pick up. Okay. Alright. Through here. Try the staff room in then in that case then. Can Jill crawl under here? I think I can squeeze the Yeah. Jill, you're a lot more able bodied than uh our rugged m friend. Well, I don't need to go that way for now. Although, courtyard is a good shout afterwards, so. Let's keep going. Um, no, there's a station. Actually, let's deposit our items that we don't need. Uh, that and that for now. Just in case we need more items. Okay. I am hoping for either a hip pouch or a magnum. Uh, hold up. Oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? Oh, that was unpleasant to say the least. Oh, 
Oh, I love that you can just like, I didn't realize you could do it. If you like feather the uh, trigger, you can like rapid fire. That's pretty cool. Oh. That's on the list of noises you don't want to hear behind you. Ooh, shotgun shells. Ready, and... Oh. It so helps to actually be able to aim properly. Okay, okay, Jill, I'm gonna need you to not die on me. Yep, we are getting out of here, because we don't need to waste our ammo. Um... Apparently there's stuff up here still. Like, if I miss something down here, ooh, yes I have. Okay, now I'm good. Maybe I can jump down because I think everything's done. I mean, there's the sick room, but it... we'll try the sick room just in case there's anything in there. Other than that, I think we're good. We... High grade gunpowder. Right. Time to move. We haven't got a lot of time before uh, everything goes kablawi. Oh! Oh, what is with everyone just jumping like that? Oh, that is what I am talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Albert Wesker, eat your heart out. Um, do we have any space for a grenade? We do not. Although, maybe if I... Can you... No, that's already full. Okay. Okay. Um, we are going to make our way back here. So, through this door, I don't think I can go that way. I've got to go the long way around. Come on, Jill. Can't you climb things? Look at the mess in here that I made. Okay. Let's get back to business. Uh, this way. I could be pulling out that magnum, to be fair. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> it's right there and it swiped at me. Claire, not Claire. Jill, go through the door. Haha, defeated by a door, my friend. You can't get me here. So lame. Don't even care. Green. Good. Ooh, I don't need that anymore, apparently. Goody, goody. Right. Let's go. No more doors to pick. I mean, are we... Are we winding down? Like, this is starting to feel like the... Like, we're kind of moving towards the end of the game. I mean, I knew this was a shorter game, but this is quite short, if that is the case. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I could do with a hip pouch. Wow. Um. Hmm. Are we going to the underground facility that Claire and Leon were in? Could be. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? It's hard to notice what you're not looking for. 
The thing that I always love to see come up is your inventory is full. Thanks. Thanks. That's that's great. Appreciate that. Um Where am I going? Can I get round here? Can I come on, you can squeeze through there. Um can I climb something? What am I missing here? Oh, is it blatantly obvious thing that's right in front of me? Yes. When in doubt, look for the thing right in front of you under your nose. Okay. It's quiet, like too quiet, and there appears to be no evidence of any infected down here, so I'm a little concerned. Oh, we're in a safe room. <gasps> oh, where were you five minutes ago? Uh, lift lever, lift lever, green herb. Do we go, go back for the green herb? I say we press on. Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box with a concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuse to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub-generator situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. Cool. So that is probably our mission then, is it? Um... Why uh, do I though? Yeah, go on then, because we just don't know what we're coming up against at this point. All right, we're not getting through there in a hurry. Oh, so <clears throat> I like as well that this game does something pretty. Oh, that's there. He is that douche. And just fire it randomly at him. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Let me go to my item box. Yeah, I like the the way the game gives you like the next mission or the next thing to do is by basically um, put, putting letters down. Being like, oh, if you need to fix this, you can do it by doing this. Oh, I can't do that. We got grenade launcher ammo for days. Alright, okay. I feel like the moment I jump down, something bad's gonna happen. Didn't even flinch! What we got? Anything over here? Nope, can't get back up there. Okay, can't activate that. So, our only way forward is... Alright. You better not all come back to life, because I shot you. Oh! I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our games end here. <clears throat> you think this is over? Yeah. The game's only just begun. Well, it hasn't, because I've been playing it for a while! What is that? Why do you look different? Oh, you look like you've been burned. How are you... There is nothing left to shoot. Okay. Whew. Loosen off them shoulders. It's going to be a fun old ride this episode. I'm feeling it, you know. You feeling it, Jill? Without the jumps. And uh, Nikolai over there. Uh, restore power. Oh, please be stuff I have already. Yay! 
Yes. Uh, what we got? I'm not going to have enough room, am I? If I go and get another one. Oh. I know it's back and forth, but just take one fuse down and then go and get the other two. Because I don't have the empty slots and I don't want to have to come all the way back. So we're going to do it now. Because that's what Jill would do, I think. Where is it? I literally was here a second ago. Oh, it's there. That's why. One step too far. One step not far enough. Uh, insert. Thank you. Out we go. I mean, did Carlos come this way, or did he have, like, a more direct route? Okay. Oh! Oh, what's the noise? What's the noise? What is that? What is- what is- oh, it's a dog. It's a dog. Oh, there's another. Did I kill that by it? Ju it literally jumped in the way. That's a suicidal dog. It's like, I don't want to live. It just jumped straight into the uh, pile. Oh! What is going on, people? Things not safely secured. And is this you? Is this your fault? Dale. All right. Stay down. Aha! You can fit through there, Jill. Squeeze through. I... Do you know what one thing I'm liking about this section, and I'm, I'm hoping you can hear it on your end, it's the, um... The little sort of, like, musical... I don't know what you'd call it. It sounds like, like violin strings being plucked almost, like, very faintly. You hear it in, like, horror movies. I know specifically, like, it reminds me of Indiana Jones with, um... Ooh, that's helpful. When, um... The spiders in Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's a very... Sh I know it's a very obscure thought process, and... Everyone else is probably like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but... Anywho. It just reminds me of that. That little, like, creepy little thing that you may or may not be able to hear, so... If you can hear it, good for you. If you can't... Oh! Whoa! I feel like I've walked in on something. Uh, out, out, out we go. Just push the door open and shoot. This is the most ineffective way of doing it. But I don't care. Oh, with this. Alright, stay down. Final warning. Shit, shit, shit. Jill, Jill, Jill. Now ain't the time. That is a... Powerful enemy. Good thing we got more shotgun shells. I take it that leads back into the. It does. Um. Anything down? Oh no! Not a fan of these things. 
You stay down. Oh, right, okay. Hunting for goddamn fuses. Bet Chris is off somewhere having a nice time. There we go. Locked and loaded. Whew. Right. Back through here. No one come back alive. Oh, what's this? Employee memo. September 12. Admitted to N2. Male 45. Female 32. Discarded. Male 60. Female 89. September 15. Admitted N2. Males 55. 19. Female 51. Discarded. Male 76. Returned. Female 8. Inf uninfected. Uh, September 22nd. Attended to N2. Males 25. 22. 15. Female 16. 21. 29. Discarded six male specimens, n nine female specimens, disposals trending upwards daily. Preemptively dispose of any over 30 years of age. November 24th, nightly transfer observed by nurse. Admissions to underground facility temporarily halted. Interesting. Uh, I think we need to raise that bridge back up, maybe. Or did I go the wrong way? Left lever... There's the fuse, okay. Um. Oh, hang on, maybe if I op lift this one up first, just in case, I need to come back this way. Oh. Maybe. Ah, oh, brilliant. And drop down here. I mean, oh, what and where? Oh, I don't like it. It's a very guttural sound. Right. Everybody keep an eye out for something. And then moves, we kill it. Oh! Oh. Okay. Um, combine with that, combine with that, gunpowder. Oh. All right, here goes. No, don't talk it up, Jill, because now something's going to jump out and attack me. Yeah, yeah, I called it. Bloody knew it. What is that? Oh, it's one of those big fishes. Okay, open wide. Reload faster, reload faster. Come on. Back in your cage, Nemo. Actually, what is in your cage? Anything decent? Um, oh, herb. But your inventory's full. Yep, we knew that. We came to play and we knew that was the score. Right, let's move on. Can we lower? No, probably not. Oh, that's a shame. Long way around then. Can I? Yep, I can. Anything of interest? Nope. Okay. Is Nikolai still there? No, of course not. Because that would just be hilarious if he just stood there watching like, hmm, interesting Valentine. Although he doesn't have a... 
Oh, whoa, 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 okay. No, missed it. Missed it again. Oh, they're like inverse face huggers. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Get off. No, no. Carlos didn't like it, and neither do I. Jill, you gotta move. Jill, have you got any health? Oh, shit. I don't think I've got any health on me. I really don't have any health on me. Crap. Alright. Jill, shoot. Jill, Jill, Jill. We are not in a good place right now, health wise. Oh. Oh, please be health up there. Pursue Nikolai. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, I don't like where this is going already. I need health. I really need health. Shit. He got away. Yeah, he did. Oh, is there a green herb in here? Oh, yes, there is, you beauty. Nope. Oh. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, what was he doing up here? Oh. Uh, unfinished activity log. <clears throat> 26th of September. Infiltrated uh, Raccoon Sea disturbances. A sporadic commencing mission. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. 27th of September. Test run at university. Diver diverted pack including canines to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. Uh, successful rendezvous with MV Platoon. Will make first attempt at dawn. Uh, diverted pack towards compound post result. Night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Uh, end of skirmish. Seven survivors. Unknown what uh, bio weapon deployed at point D18. Taking it per orders, it appears to be on the hunt. Uh, got eyes on two stars. A male infected and female bio weapon is pursuing the female. Uh, female Jill Valentine made contact with uh, MV platoon. Bio weapons appearance and behavior are consistent with Project Nemesis. Investigating. Observed by a weapon wielding conventional weapons. Seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine. It knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. Uh, metamorphosis in bioweapon triggered by hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Uh, over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to a uh, virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by commanding officer... Uh, soldier in uh, MV platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. Seems clear the bioweapon is Project Nemesis. Contact with Jill Valentine causes it to change and evolve will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Damn! It's like a giant game you're playing here. Oh, oh, okay. How you doing, buddy? I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh, oh you got bit, didn't you? They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. Oh, okay. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Great. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Love it. Come on, Valentine. You got this. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Sounds good to me. Oh. Sure, you go first. Why not? Age before beauty. Jill, you maybe want to pick up the pace. Sure you don't need to stop? Uh, do no, you? Do what? I got your back. <laughs> Technically, you're in front of me. Right. Let's get this done. Jill's like, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that last egg roll. <gasps> oh, whoa! Oh, not this thing again. No. Keep going. We're 
Yeah, we're not losing another. Oh! Okay, maybe we're losing another. No, it's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be alright. It's just a flesh wound. Oh. Yep. Run. Run, Valentine. Run. Oh, it's literally aliens now. Oh, my days. That thing was... Oh. Get the vaccine. Yeah, I... I feel you. Oh, where are we now? Don't trust that for a second. I've got no handgun ammo. I'm, I'm afraid I'm not going to have an option. Locked. Okay. <clears throat> uh, that's locked. What have we got in here? Save room. <clears throat> okay. Can I ditch that? And then keep the other one? Uh, Nest 2, employee regulations. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objectives of the T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by improved, unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It's a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Interesting. Ooh, we got a map. And high-grade gunpowder, too. And a green herb. Uh, let's give you that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Come on, Valentine. Let's keep it going. You got this. After that, you deserve a really long holiday. Uh, okay, we can't go through there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Smile! Alright, what you got? Anything good? Isaac Graves' diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to the state-of-the-art medical tech f uh, research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity. Like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have a conscience and I've learned my lesson. Well, Isaac, I, don't, I do feel a bit bad about blowing your head off now. <clears throat> yep. Alright, let's keep going. Nope. You got anything? Nope, just blood. Okay. Well, let's try over here first. High grade gunpowder. Nothing to mix it with. You're dead. Okay. Anything else in here? That's an open port for something. Here we go. Uh, essay on vaccine synthesis. <clears throat> On the roles of antigens and ad adjuvants in the vaccine synthesis, Dr. Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are, adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant 
uh, increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant um, samples yields unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Cool. That sounds like it's going to be mighty helpful. What we got? Can we create Over something? IP successfully generated. Okay. What have we here? Override key removed. Ooh. Cheeky flash drive. Let's have a look. So Nest 2 is different from Nest 1, which I assume was the underground facility that both to Leon and Claire are in. Synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Okay. Uh, yeah, green herb. That seems to do the trick. I have to make it myself. All right, gotta figure this out. Well, at least it's not Chris. Remember, he was like, "These are a bunch of chemicals you've never seen before. Better not touch them." Um. Okay. Um. Where else can I go then with this USB drive? Uh, came up this way. Nothing through there. Maybe I go back downstairs then and use the USB. Maybe the USB works on the doors? Let's try it. Oh yeah. I am in hacker, true hacker voice. Yeah, nearly, you nearly got the jump, but I'm getting used to the scares now. Oh. Can you just, okay. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't playing. All right, in a line, please. In a line, and there we go. One more, one more. There we go. There we go. Okay. Well, that's most of our ammo gone. Uh, shipping notice. Cargo Nemesis shipping route. Uh, CDG, JFK, uh, Raccoon C. What's CDG? I'm going to assume that's a uh, city in the States. Shipment day, 1st of September, 1998. Shipment type, class 1, hazardous materials. All transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing. A shock to pass on me potentially to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing it has been through numerous trials and uh, possesses incredible destructive power so please exercise extreme caution when using it lead developer dr herman frankel is that a hint to resident evil 4 then because i know that takes place in europe oh i don't like you Let's combine. Oh, we're running low on ammo again. Never mind. Actually, we're still running low on ammo. <laughs> what you got? Anything worth reading? Scientist dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked under orders from Dr. Bard. I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with adjuvant to pr uh, enhance its effects. And I should be able to produce enough vaccine to survive, uh, save all surviving citizens. <clears throat> The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls. I'd better, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while the culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a, uh, a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. My reading is just awful. 
I apologize. Uh, Gunpowder. Let's combine and. Nope, never mind. We are locked and loaded. Right, where are we going? Red. I could have been. Right. Grab the red herb anyway. We may come across another green. Oh. There's a box there. What we got? Oh, yes. Acid rounds. Wicked. Do you know what? They should be scared of us, not the other way around. Yeah, I didn't believe that, even when I said it out loud. I was like, yeah, if I say it, maybe I'll feel like that. Must be. I hear something behind me. Oh, that's what's behind me. Oh, son of a bitch. You know what? Yeah. I knew something was there, and I was just like, nah, I'm hearing things. No, you're not hearing things. You definitely saw something. Not saw something, heard something. Ignore me, I'm frazzled. Whew, okay. I keep wanting to say Claire. I did this last game. I kept wanting to call Claire Jill. Oh my god, they are. Looks like Mr. X. This is where they're growing them. It's not a good place to be. Okay. Right. What we got? What do we need? Incubation lab. That's where we need to go, right? Anything in this corner? No. <clears throat> oh! He's like, oh, excuse me. Oh, you piece of shit. Hang on. Actually, why not? Ho 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 ho! Yeah, baby, we are in the money now. Explosive B, do we have an explosive? We don't have an explosive B or an explosive A to combine with explosive B. Okay, this seems normal. Mega Man, hello. Expression of concern. I'm pretty damn ex concerned. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe from completing Nemesis. A truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How could I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like plasma... Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles, cars, with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Okay. 
<laughs> then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. Don't give me your degrees at me. Oh, shit. Bitch ain't standing now. That's really interesting, then. So... The T virus, well, it's a virus as, we, as well as the G virus. So Umbrella in the States at this point have been experimenting with viruses for their biological weapons. However, in Europe... An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Well, someone's been paying attention in chemistry. So in Europe then... They're dealing with parasites. So it's a different form of, you know, I don't know what it's called. Not that microbe? I don't know. But essentially, I like that. So Umbrella US is dealing predominantly in viruses to, to engineer bioweapons. Whereas Umbrella... Oh, no! Oh, help, help. Oh, come on. Let's not make me jump anymore, please. At least the tyrants didn't break out. That could have been bad. But yeah, uh, so... Resident Evil, um, Umbrella Europe, as I was saying, is doing Parasite. Interesting. Um, which I assume is, is like a hint to Resident Evil 4. Um, I don't know. I don't, I've not played Resident Evil 4 and I don't know what the threat is. I don't really know anything about Resident Evil 4 other than it's Leon and it's in Europe. That's pretty much the extent of my knowledge. Oh, and I think you have to rescue President's daughter, I think. Something like that. Um, but yeah, so... Is this hinting at where the next Resident Evil game goes? Possibly. Itchy nose. Oh, I'm not going to have any room in my inventory, am I? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Huh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for Maxi. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, weaponry authorization requests. Uh, Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting the very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not been and not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we'll be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, Shipping and Processing Manager Gabriel Reed. Ooh. Okay. So, carrying on what I was saying a second ago. Obviously, like I said, Resident Evil 1. Oh, uh, do you know what? At this point, I can't even get rid of it. <sighs> shit, I don't know. Well, we're shit out of luck on that one. Yeah, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, viruses. Resident Evil 4, 
maybe something different. But obviously in Europe, we know they're working on parasites. Now, Resident Evil, Evil Biohazard. I'm not staying around here. I know deals with fungal infections or fungal virus, fungal viruses, fun, um, fungi. I don't know. Um, that's not really a big spoiler. You kind of just see that in the game, like the molded creatures. So that ain't the spoiler. Um, but I like that. Is that is that what the franchise does then? I mean, again, I've only played a few of the Resident Evil games. Does it go through all different types of like disease that they they kind of the umbrella and other companies are trying to manufacture into bioweapons? Because that's pretty cool. I mean, obviously that's a way that the franchise keeps going. So I think that's kind of cool. Right. Uh, I have to put that in. Oh no. Okay. Liquid fill test tubes. Looks like it's useful. Unauthorized materials detected. What am I doing wrong then? Search for antigen, search for adjuvant. Oh my god. Hang on. Vaccine synthesis. Um, combining the two samples. Oh, okay. Vaccine base. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I... I don't... I don't know what I've got to do. Shit. Are they gonna all be between 50? Oh, maybe they have. All right, two. Okay. I think I've got to get 50, so... Right. That does 30, 10, 10. That does 10, 10, 10. So it doubles all of them. 40, 30, 20. <clears throat> Let's try you on mid. Okay. So the one on the left affects all three. This one brings it straight to 40. Okay. I 
I love how this this surely must be a simple thing that I'm doing so poorly. Okay. Meanwhile, the missile's gone off and everyone's dead. This Jill cannot work out. What am I doing wrong? Right. 40, 30, 20 if I do that. If I do it again, 40, 40, 20. Okay. 40, 40, 20. Not bad. That's the closest we've come so far, isn't it? That's too high. Okay, maybe you're out of the equation entirely. Ah, that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah! Okay. That took so long. Okay. Oh, it's glowing purple. Oh, it's a glow stick. Just break it. I mean, don't break it, but... Oh, you look proud of yourself, Jill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. Careful, that's so close to your throat. Ow. Oh. I wonder who that could be. Escape the facility. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Crawl, Jill, crawl. Also, I think I said this the last game. Why is there only one vial? Why can't there ever be- Oh! Multitudes! Oh, that's not pleasant. Yeah, shoot that! Haha! <laughs> you don't like fire, do you? Oh. No, 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 no! Crawl! Crawl! Jill! You can do this! Why don't you stab at it? Oh! That could have gone bad. Still can. Oh! So there it is. Bye! Oh. We're in a save room, right? Can we save it? Oh, use the old trusty knife. Oh, we are getting stuff given to us. First aid spray. There's a lot of stuff being given to us. Oh, shit. Can I not combine those? Oh, why didn't I combine... Oh, crap. This feels like we're about to go into a boss fight and I don't have all my gear. High grade gunpowder. I could do with some high grade gunpowder. Do you know what? Use that because there's one right here anyway. Right. Combine that with that. And then that. And then reload. And then pick that up. See? There we go. That is called Inventory Management 101. Thanks for joining in class. Settle down at the back, you. Um, I'm going to imagine it's not the super fun, happy place to be. <gasps> oh, I am getting gear. That is not a good thing, though. Okay, Jill. You take this one at a time. Why are we going further down? Oh! 
It literally looks like the alien queen. Oh, that thing is... No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, hold on. Oh, see? One vial. This is a problem with one vial. Don't do it. More than I do. I don't think wisdom. Oh, what a dick. Now I know you can for the price of life. Just reach up, grab him, pull him down. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat dark. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Oh, it's a goddamn feeding pit. Hey, how you doing, old buddy, old pal? Oh, we're gonna move. No, we're not. We're getting. We're gonna get hit. Jill, you need to. You need to do some stuff here. Oh, that's not good. Okay, move, move, move. Oh. All right, that ain't working. Did I do it? You, Carlos? Carlos? You're okay. Jump down and help! Let me spot for you. Good idea. Or you could help. Oh, we got one brown. Um Okay, we're 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 changing. We're changing things up. Oh, I've got an idea. Um, use the... No, not flame, not acid. Mine rounds, yes! He's hiding behind tank two. Number two. All right, I got it. Shit, no I don't. Oh, they blow up? Oh, yeah. Oh, I died. That's awkward. Roll it from the top. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh. That is not a pleasant sight. Come on. Glad not Claire Jill, damn it. Jill, is that you? Oh. You're okay. Uh, for now. Let me spot for you. Good Where? He's hiding behind tank three. Tank three. Okay. Reload faster, Jill. Reload faster, Jill. Jill, faster, 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 faster. J 
Jill, you need to you need to move quick. I can't see them. Where are they? Where's the other one? Number two. Okay. I got this. Nice one, Carlos. Yeah, I'll take anything at this point. I just want it dead. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. All we've done is piss him off. Oh, you say yeah, I don't. Oh, it's going back up again. Yeah, where's incoming? Oh. Oh. Don't oh, move. Oh, he's coming. He coming. Oh. Why is this over here? Ah. Uh. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's great stuff. No, 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 don't be dead. Oh, you're fine. Oh. Come on. Where, where, I can't see. Yeah. Come on. Let's not start counting them chickens before they hatch. Oh. Whew! We did it! Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. Yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, he's getting back up. Come on. Come on. Jill, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, Carlos. Now get on. My man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna melt this fucker into mush. Oh, okay. That's a smart move, actually. That's a really smart move. Ooh. Sleep, tr sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, nice. And then Jill sleeps. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you overhead. Oh, okay. Thanks, Carlos. You're the man. Nikolai, where did you go? Yeah, good idea. Let's, uh. Actually, hang on while we're here. I have to get that vaccine back. Oh, yeah. All right, let's... Yeah. Oh, save room. Is there anything in here? <laughs> there ain't. Anything in this room I can pick up? Oh, okay. Weapon spec sheet. Redacted. Project title. Ferromagnetic infantry use next generation rail gun. Development code name Finger. Chief developer Nest2 lead researcher Colonel Garner. Assisting developer, United States Army, ammo cap- Holy shit! Project objective, suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. User feedback, this thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line, just give them the finger and problem solved. Packs of firepower we need, it would be even better if there's a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps it platform could be refined. It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? Holy shit, that sounds cool. Do I get one? Hang on, what's that? Gunpowder. Do I get a rail gun? Oh, please tell me I get a rail gun. Oh, 
Oh, we're like a hangar now? Are we under, oh, we're underground still. So is this like a submarine port or something? No, hang on. Is there a s is... Oh, okay. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You, Prince Mark. I like her. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. Shoot him. Oh! Carlos, if that's you, this is really not the ideal time to be crashing things through the- Holy shit! Is that a giant slug? What the hell is that? Have you, have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. Oh my god, is that Nemesis? Is it still alive? Oh, how it is. It is about to explode. And you can put a price on life. Oh, you. I want you to die slowly. Nikolai! Go after Nikolai. Oh shit, there's acid on the floor. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. Yeah. I know you do. Do you not hear about the Spencer Mansion? That was me. It better be. Holy shit, that thing is huge. Defeat the creep. Yeah, great. No, it ain't. Oh, I need something. I need something. Okay, hand ammo. Hand ammo. Hand ammo. That's great. Hand ammo. Okay. Oh, this is not ideal. This is not what I want. What's this? What is this? Opening compartment? Is it the railgun? Oh my god, do I get a railgun? Oh, please. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, smile for me, big boy. Oh! Oh, he did not like that. Oh, crap. Oh, this is gonna... S yeah. Damn. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Move it, Jill. Move it, Jill. Move it, Jill. Jill! Uh, we ain't good. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Keep going. Oh, you seriously are a piece of shit. Okay, now maybe? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, that one's in. Two? Come on, come on. Get it in, get it in, get it in, get it in, Jill. You got this, you got this. It's all you, it's all you. Oh, yeah, but I don't like where it is. Oh, I don't like what's going to happen now. Jill, you need to move a lot quicker. I'm gonna put you right back on your Jill, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jill, move, move, Jill. Jill, this is a really good time to keep moving right now. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smile for me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, yes, shove it down its goddamn throat. That is what I'm talking about. Come on! Next time, take the fucking hit. Yes! <laughs> oh, you so need a shower after that. That was so awesome. Good riddance. Yes! Oh. So happy with that. Take back the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. Can I not take the railgun? Oh, I mean, admittedly, it is connected to the wall. Oh, God. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, it's melting. Oh, I can't go through there. How do I get out? Um, Is there a way? Oh, there's a ladder. I mean, the wrong... I mean, it's over here, admittedly. Oh... 
That was so unbelievably satisfying. Okay. Oh, everything's falling apart. That's not good. Oh. Yeah, I do too. Imagine if you got that. Access denied. God damn it. Alright, what we got gun wise? Okay, we got a shotgun and a pistol. I can still catch you. We got this. Come on, Jill. It ain't over till it's over. Um Okay. Anything down here? No info. Oh wow, even the game's like, you're on your own, bud. No! Carlos! Oh, you piece of shit! You're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't I? Oh! Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile impact. Ah. The missile has launched. And there is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Yes, Carlos is still alive. Oh, oh, oh! I can feel it. Oh shit! No. You have to. Oh. There's no other way. Oh, this is gonna suck. Hang on. Oh. Oh shit! Did I shoot him? Hey. I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. Oh, Carlos. You're growing on me, buddy. What about him? Kill. No, actually. Take the gun away, and let's leave his ass behind. Why'd you do it? Who's your client? Or your, yeah. There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? Yeah. I'll tell you, if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. Yeah. If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Ha <laughs> Bon voyage. Been better. There it is. Oh. Oh. No, not like this. It's finally over. Yeah. So long, Percy. Yeah, I wonder if insurance covers nuclear missiles fired by the government in an attempt to clean up an outbreak they started. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making the virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there 
The ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes, too. I would end that, once and for all. Oh, yay! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I had fun. Oh, hang on. Post credit scene. What? What? What was that? Who was that? Oh, see, that's not too bad. Total playtime nine hours. That wasn't that bad. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Oh, look at him. Look at the big boy. Well, right, I'm gonna take these off. I don't need these on. That was. That was so much fun. I, I really had an absolute blast playing this. Um, yeah, I, again, like my Resident Evil 2 remake playthrough, I'd played it before. Um, admittedly, it had been a while since I last played it, but I'd played it before and I really enjoyed it, so I knew kind of what I was getting into. This, I was going in completely cold. So I didn't know what to expect. I knew that it was a remake that kind of had the same engine that the previous remake had so i figured some sort of like connective tissue was going to follow over so i knew i'd probably enjoy it or at least i'd enjoy the gameplay mechanics but story wise loved it absolutely loved it i wouldn't go so as far as to say that i love it as much as resident evil 2 it feels very different <clears throat> whereas the Resident Evil 2 remake feels more like a mis you know a survival horror mystery where you're slowly uncovering what's going on um you're solving a lot more puzzles you're navigating around the police station you're being chased by Mr X yes but ultimately you're investigating a you know if you're Claire where where's Chris and then, obviously, with the Sherry storyline, it's where's the little girl? How do I save her? And it very much becomes that. Whereas this felt more like Jill was just on the run. Like, from the get-go, Jill is just on the run trying to get out of Raccoon City. And then, just by sheer virtue of her character, people are in need and she helps. You know, that's who she is. She's, she's star. She's a police officer. You know, best of the best. And she's going to help people, you know, even at her own detriment. And she's just being relentlessly pursued by by Umbrella, trying to clean up after their mistake. No, okay, well, they didn't all die in the Spencer Mansion. Clearly, Jill's been a problem for the last few months. Even if she has just been in sort of self-imposed exile, we're going to have to wipe the slate clean. So they're throwing everything at her to wipe her out. Obviously, don't know what happened to Chris. Brad goes pretty quickly, and I think Brad even says we're the only two stars members left in the city at the time. So this was very much Jill get out of town, get out of Dodge before everything comes crumbling down. What I will say is it's definitely a lot more action packed than Resident Evil 2, and that's not a bad thing, it's just different. It's just that Resident Evil 2 felt more like a mystery, and I was investigating and I was solving things, whereas this felt more like I was running, I was shooting, I was fighting. They're doing really a small puzzle aspect in it, but it was mainly that. It was mainly more action, which, again, I enjoyed it. I would probably say one thing I would probably say about this one, one nitpick being. I wasn't a huge fan that I couldn't use items as like defensive items like when I'm getting grabbed like Claire when she was getting grabbed she could use flashbang grenades stuff it in their mouth she could use a knife she could use a frag grenade why can't Jill do that Jill is a you know Claire by my knowledge is not a trained you know police officer whereas Jill is not only a trained police officer she's an elite police officer special unit so surely she has the ability to just she can dodge, great, but the fact that you can't use defensive items, it was a bit weird. It was a very odd choice because it was very much present in the last one. So I found that strange that that wasn't there. Um, another thing that kind of is a negative, I want to say negative, I really, I, I want to be clear, I really enjoyed this game. I like this game. I will definitely play this game again. However, I'm a nuanced person. I have complicated feelings on things. It did feel a bit short. 
I mean, we, we read that then. It, it was nine hours it took me to finish that. And that's pretty short as a game goes. I think the... Actually, I don't know how long Resident Evil 2 Remake took me to finish. But the caveat to that is if it did take me roughly the same time or even less, there's a whole nother story that I can play from a different perspective where the replayability goes up. Now, obviously I'm going to play this again so there is some replayability for me, but there is no you get to play the same story from carlos's perspective ultimately they intertwine both those character stories in one which i like but it does mean that the game ultimately suffers for a shorter playthrough now could there i'm trying to think of where where you would flesh it out and probably increase it and i'm just i am struggling and that's the thing is yes whilst it's a nitpick i don't have a better solution i can't sit there and be like oh they should have made it longer because i don't know where you would have made it longer because for me it had a nice pace to it. It just felt short. Um, it, it kind of felt... I, I didn't feel like, you know, Resident Evil 2.5. It felt like it's its own thing, but it felt like a smaller story. So it felt like a short novel rather than it being a, a, a full-on novel, you know. But that said, I still really enjoyed the game. I think, again, Jill's a great character. She's in the first Resident Evil as an option, an optional character to play. And I don't know if they will ever remake the first resident evil game again because i know that obviously they did the remaster but if they remade the first resident evil with this engine with the with the graphics for for a modern day generation oh i would be so in on that i mean one of the great things is you already have some of the assets already you've got jill you can put jill straight from this game into resident evil one you absolutely can the hunters i think they're the hunt the same hunters from the first one they translate over zombie models you've got them like everything is there for the most part the only thing you'd have to do is build the environments and obviously uh lisa trevor um tyron and then some of the other character models like wesker um barry rebecca richards you know just a few of those other things but ultimately i don't know that they'll make it. i'd love them to do it because then i would love to have have played all of them you know the first one remade second one remade third one remade and obviously remake the fourth remakes coming out i would love for them to do that don't know whether they will but i'd be so excited if they did but equally i'd love to see more additions into the resident evil series with some of the returning cast members like i've played biohazard and biohazard is a bit more of a departure from the mainline series in a way I haven't played village so i'm interested to see if it does kind of bring back more elements of the past games um and i don't know what the future is beyond village if there is going to be a sequel to it if it's the you know if village is a, the the middle part of a of a new trilogy per se or where the franchise goes i would be happy to see a new installment but i'd also love to see some of the characters come back like again i say this i could be massively wrong and if i'm wrong apologies correct me does Jill pop up again in any of the future Resident Evil games? Uh, I know, I, again, I had the same question about Claire. Like, Claire is a great character. Jill's a great character. Leon, not someone I've had a lot of time with, but when I played him in the re the second, um, uh, yeah, the second remake, I enjoy the character, and I'd love to see Leon's future go forward. Chris, again, like, do these characters come back? Is there a potential for another game down the line to reunite some of these characters or to have a mix of both you know have chris and claire jill and leon what do those partnerships look like i would be really interested to see that and i think there's such a rich character stuff there obviously you got to put the story first is there a story to tell if the story if there's a good story and there's an opportunity for those characters to come back i'm in i'm in day one sign me up i'm jumping on board so yeah um yeah i'm gonna wrap it up here because i could quite literally go on for hours about how much i love this series how i'm really enjoying this playthrough i'm looking so forward to playing resident evil 4 remake because again like this it's my first foray into that game um so it's going to be really interesting to play i can't wait to play it on the channel so you guys can see really appreciate it um 
And again, a, a big thank you to any and everyone who watched these videos. If you watched all of them, you are just my favorite kind of person. Thank you so much. If you watched all the way to the end of the video now to where I'm bamble, uh, babbling, see, can't even get my words out properly, then thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you like the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in seeing more videos from me going forward, both Resident Evil and other games to come, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.